Alrighty, g'day guys, and welcome back to week five of our APA Academy run. Today we are up against one of our good buddies, Zombie, and his Victoria Victinis. And first glance at that team, it looks absolutely terrifying, because there is a My Shadow and a Latias, which hit us really hard. A Mega Tyranitar that can set up. Blacephalon has a kind of decent matchup. Um, on paper, it can hit pretty hard. Um, you've got Alolan Ninetales, which can set screens, and then you have the likes of Selly, Gliscor, and Suicune, which is very hard to break. Um, and then you got Wish Support from Licky Licky. Um, yeah, so it's <laughs> it's not going to be an easy one. Um, Marshadow can kind of run through my team. There is no mon on my roster that can take two hits from it um, if it runs the right coverage. Um, other than I think Alamomola can take two, but then he can just freely set up in front of me and it's not great. So we're going to go with a bit of a different strategy this week. Um, and as you can see, we're starting off. Um, first piece of this strategy is Stack Attacker. We're actually running a dual screen Stack Attacker with the Light Clay, uh, Reflect, Light Screen, Gyroborn, Stone Edge. The idea is to get this in on something like maybe a Alolan Nine Tails, a um, Laddie, something that can't one shot us, threaten the trick room, so that threatens him out, and that gives us a free screen. Um, light screen for things like the Laddie House, which we really don't deal with well. Um, like, strong psychics hurt us a lot, especially when they're dragon type as well, because our dark type is um, high dragon. And yeah, like Laddie's coverage just it means that I can't really bring a reliable check to it. It just gets too many moves. Like, the, yeah, it gets something that can hit my entire roster, and that's not okay. So light screen mainly for that, and then reflect obviously for the Marsh Shadow, and then like maybe for the Tita. But I think I have a better matchup against the Tita, and then dual stabs because that actually hits really hard. Like his rock resistances don't really exist. Like, he actually has none. Um, I think other than Marshadow, maybe, and then Gyroball does a whole lot to that. We are running minus speed with a little bit of defense. Um, we're still running max attack just because the bulk didn't really help us live anything. Um, any ground or fighting coverage from his special attackers weren't, um, weren't going to be doing much. And I wanted enough attack to be able to one-shot the Marshadow because, well, we can't really ever give that thing a turn to set up. Like, if it sets up a bulk up, then I kind of just lose. Um, so yeah, that's our first mon, um, Stack Attacker, hopefully going to be setting some screens and doing some good things for us this week. Our next mon, we have Archeops. As I said, his rock resists don't exist outside of Marshadow, and that thing still gets demolished by a head smash. Uh, with Focus Sash lead, this will be 100% my dedicated lead, uh, with head smash, HP, HP Ice, Endeavor, and Stealth Rock. Um, most likely, I predict a Gliscor lead. Um, that's where HP Ice comes in. He'll probably think we're going to switch out or st set rocks. He'll go for his own rocks. I click HP Ice, and then that forces that thing out. Um, yeah, if he leads something like the Suicune or the Laddie or anything like that, I am Sash. I can live any hit and then do a huge chunk with Head Smash. Um, then Endeavor, in case I do go for like an HP Ice or I set rocks and something, and... Um, they go for a Scald, or if I take a huge chunk of Recoil, I can um, chip something down. I was really didn't need another move. Um, but yeah, so this is hopefully going to get rocks, and hopefully going to chunk something down. Um, that's the main goal for Archeops this week. As I said, his resistances really suck to this mon. He actually doesn't have any, because if I ran flying coverage for Marshadow, that doesn't count. Um, but yeah, so moving on, next mon, we have Kecleon. And as I said, Marshadow, we don't deal with that well. So I'm bringing a bit of a niche Kecleon here. We've got Life Orb, Max Attack, um, enough speed to creep the no speed Selly, I'm pretty sure. Or like a tiny bit of speed Selly, maybe a tiny bit of speed Tyranitar. Um, one of those two mons. Um, Max Attack, Life Orb. Now, it's Protect, Shadow Sneak, Thunder Punch, Aqua Tail. Um, this is to guarantee chip on Marshadow because... Um, if he, we come in and we're normal type, so he can't shadow sneak us. And so if we go for a shadow sneak, um, 
we will always get some damage off there, and that does about half to a Marshadow, which is really nice. Um, between that and if he's Life Orb, we're chipping him down really nicely. Um, then Protect, if we go for Shadow Sneak, and then we're Ghost Type, um, we can Protect to get our normal typing back to stop another Shadow Sneak from hitting us. Thunder Punch um, to hit that Celesteela, which is pretty obvious. Switch into this Mon, and Aqua Tail to hit both the Gliscor and the Tyranitar which Shadow Sneak doesn't hit. And I mean, Thunder Punch also hits Suicune as well. Um, but yeah, so this Mon was really here as like a kind of a Marshadow check. I didn't really have a sixth Mon that I wanted to put on the team. So Kecleon came in. Uh, next Mon, we have Groudon. Groudon does really well this game. Um, a Life Orb set with Rock Polish can just clean. Um, Presbus Blades hits very well. His resi well, his Immunities to that include the Selly, the Gliscor, and the Latias, I'm pretty sure is the only one. And then, I mean, Sceptiles will resist, but that doesn't count. That's a Frailmon. Um, so yeah, for those, we have um, Fire Blast for the Selly, uh, Fire Blast for the Sceptile, I guess. Um, Solar Beam or Fire Blast to hit the Gliscor, probably Fire Blast again, because that thing's going to be mainly Fizz Def. And then we don't really have a way to hit the Laddie, which is something I realized getting into this game. So, um, well, something I'm realizing now recording this, sorry. So Laddie is probably going to have to be held back. I mean, while Laddie's alive, Groudon's probably going to have to be held back for more of a late game sweep. Um, but yeah, so that's our Groudon set. Nothing really too, um, too interesting with the EVs. The special attack helps us um, one-shot an offensive Selly which is like really the only way that he does a lot of damage to us. Um, but yeah, and the speed lets us outspeed everything at plus one, except a Scarf Marshadow, which I mean, if he's Scarf Marshadow, we have um, Kecleon for ghost moves. If he's Scarfed into ghost moves, and we have um, a Mon down the line that you'll see, I think, next? Nope. Um, well, I have Dawn Wings later down the line for Scarfed into fighting moves. But next up, as you can see already, we have Zera Aura with the Dragonium Z. Um, Plasma Fist's HP Ice Close Combat Outrage. Um, yeah, so this thing actually... Um, this is one of, another one of our laddie answers. This thing just hits really nice. Um, Plasma Fist has great coverage. His um, resistances to it include the Gliscor. We have HP Ice. The Laddie, we have Z Outrage and the Zera Aura. Oh, and the Raichu, sorry, but I mean, they're not, they don't really, they're not really that strong. So, an HP Ice or a Close Combat or something is going to do a lot of damage to those. Uh, but yeah, so Volt Absorb stops Raichu Volt switching around, and his speed tiers actually let us go, um, go adamant this week. I needed to put quite a lot of special attack in to guarantee a one shot on Gliscor, but actually no special attack does guarantee our two, we two shot every um, every possible Gliscor variant. So that's um, that's pretty good. Pretty standard, we're gonna come in, we're gonna hit pretty hard, we outspeed the Marshadow, which is nice. Um, we got that four in defense, to be able to take Shadow Sneaks a little nicer. Um, they still do a lot to us, because it's a Marshadow. And we're gonna pop Z on the Laddie. That's pretty standard. Even if we, um, even if he, Laddie does switch out, the Z is gonna chunk something really hard, like because he's not switching in Selly, um, and his other immunity is Alolan Nine Ninetales, which I really don't see coming this game, especially when I have Counter Weather um, and a Stack Attacker. Like Alolan Nine Ninetales is not coming. Um, yeah. So anyway, moving on to our next mod, we got Dawn Wings, as I said. Um, again, this is an interesting set this week. So we are running the Cassib Berry with Prism Armor, Heatwave, Moon Geist Beam, and Brick Break. Oh, and the Trick Room. So this Mon is, it has, it hits really nicely on his team, um, apart from two Mons. The Mar Shadow, because Shadow Sneak can just destroy us, and the Tyranitar, because Moon Geist Beam is resisted. Also the Selly. Um, so we're running with a Trick Room set, um, the Kasib Berry for the Marshadow Shadow Sneak. Uh, he Shadow Sneaks, we Moon Guys Beam, we come out of that trade on top. That's basically what it is. Um, the Trick Room, because I don't see him, he has kind of a fast team, and with the quiet nature, we can underspeed a lot of things. Um, I anticipate him creeping Dawn Wings a fair bit. 
Uh, Brick Break is for the Tyranitar, and we have enough attack to be able to pretty much always two-shot that thing. Um, we got max special attack, and we've thrown the rest into HP with four in each defenses to give us an odd HP number. Um, yeah, so that's basically what we're doing. In case you haven't noticed, this is a very offensive team. Um, that's basically what I'm going to do. This battle is going to be short. We're either going to lose spectacularly, or we're going to, like, blow him away. Because you can't defensively check Marshadow, and Laddie, and Tyranitar, and Suicune, and Gliscor, and Selly if they want to run a stall core. So yeah, that's going to be, um, that's going to be our six. Uh, we're going to get into the battle here shortly. Um, Mons that I'm predicting, uh, I'm predicting the first four, and then maybe Laddie Tyranitar. Um, I don't think Blissurflon comes because I have, like, a Hydra, which walls that thing. I have, um, I have a Mega Venu, which has thick fat and can take hits really nicely. I have an Aloe, which takes hits fairly well. Um, I have things that outspeed it, um, namely Archeops, uh, Rebombi, because that thing's so frail. Rebombi can actually, like, do a fair bit, and I think he just needs the other ones more. Um, so yeah, that's what I that's what I've got so far for this week, um, and I'll see you all in the battle. Getting into the battle here against Zombie, um, just got to select the team. You will of course know what I'm bringing, but um, we'll see together what Zombie decides to bring. Um, I have a six that I was expecting, um, probably went over it. Um, in the team builder, I expected to. Gliscor, Marshadow, Laddie, uh, Mega Tita. Then expected. Um, oh, what else? Selly. I've forgotten off the top of my head what else he's had, but those plus like a couple other annoying mons were what I'm expecting. We'll wait and see what he decides. I'm gonna get my piece of paper out to take notes on. And turn my phone to silence so you don't hear that in the video either. Um, so yeah, this is a really tough matchup for me. Like, Marshadow plus Latias just, like, runs me. And I got all six right. Okay. Now, he probably leads something here. I lead with Flappy Bird. Um... Now, I am going to write down what we have here. So we have Mega Tyranitar. We got Gliscor. We have Celesteela. Suicune. That was the one I forgot just before. Latias. And Marshadow. Um, so yeah, I don't like locking in leads early on because, um, you complain that they think it's a dedicated lead set, which it's not, um, I mean, it is. Ideally, he leads Gliscor here, as I lead Archeops, um, if he leads Gliscor, I HBIs, if he leads anything else, I head smash or set up rocks. Rocks are Kind of okay here. Um, we're gonna lock in now, as he doesn't. <laughs> he was waiting for me to lock in. Um, so yeah, let's let's hope for the best, you guys. I've got my calc up and running. Do I? Yes, I do. Look at me being all prepared. Um, we are challenged by Drew here, as I lead Flappy Bird, and this thing aggressively flaps everywhere. It is. And we get the play right. And he leads Gliscor. And we shall see what sort of Gliscor set he is. Gliscor at level 50. Now if he is like just max HP, this is going to do like 70%. So we click hidden power here as he probably gets up his rocks. Uh, and we see he does decide to stay in. And yeah, it looks like he is that max HP set. Um, he goes for rocks. As I am 
Gonna predict him to switch out and I'm actually going to go for Stealth Rocks myself. So now he's put in a very tough spot here where, yes, he switches out and I get the Stealth Rock play right. And he goes into Kiyomi, which is his Suicune. Now, here, I expect him to click Scald. What does a Scald do to Suicune? I mean, what does a Scald do to me? Scald does a lot, Head Smash does, like... He's like max defense, though. Um, I'm gonna click Head Smash here because I get a read on his set. If I miss any Scalds without the burn... Oh. Well, I get to click Endeavor here. It's not too bad. He brings me to Sash. No burn, no burn, no burn. Please, no burn. Okay. So now I click Endeavor. Which is really nice if I break this Suicune. Which means it cannot come back in. And he goes for the Scald again. And Archeops did its job. It broke the Gliscor. It broke the Suicune. So Suicune. Hells. Archeops. With Scald. Now I need to go into something that's faster. Um, I go into sweatpants, sweatpants here. Because this matches up very nicely against his team. We are of course Dragon Z. Um, well he's switching into this thing is... Um, he's switching into this is obviously um, at low HP, that's what I was looking for, and dies to HP ice. So we get to see Plasma Fist come out here, a very cool animation, I will say, and there is no way that this thing lives. Um, so Zera Aura kills Suicune with Plasma Fists. And so Suicune finishes one and one. So that is good. Um, yeah, unfortunately we didn't get, like, I mean, it would have been nice to hit that head smash, but we probably would have been in the same spot. Um, or maybe not, he might have saved his Suicune then. So, um, yeah, we're in a really nice position here. Whatever he goes out into has to take a hit. Um, like, Zero Aura hits his um, team phenomenally. He goes out into this thing. Um, if he is Zero Aura, we have Stealth Rocks up on our side, and Ladias. If he is, come on laddie, he need... Draco is a 50-50 roll. If he's Timid, Dragonium. Um, I click Z Outrage here. Oof. And if this is if this goes down that is phenomenal for us um there's no way that this doesn't kill i mean z outrage does like 150 min but you never know it could be like haban burial no that's down zera aura kills ladias with z Dr outrage the outrage <laughs> that is phenomenal. That is one really fat mon and one um, terrifying offensive mon that is out of the way. And yeah, so Ladias, the threat that it is, is now finished on one and Zera Aura has picked up two kills for us. Goes into Marshadow. Um, this mon does phenomenally against me. Uh, Marshadow. If he is like a scarf. 
should I scarf? Say he's adamant. Um, at level 50, what does he take from Plasma? Plasma Fizz does so much to him. Um, and he needs to CC to actually kill. So... Mm, but this is my way, one of my ways of breaking Selly, which is also... Um, I really want to keep this mon around. I'm gonna predict. I'm gonna hard predict the close combat here, and this is a real risky play. I want Zero Aura around. Yeah, got that big play right, and um, do we we click trick room here? Just because it's really nice. Um, I still have Groudon that can live an attack from this thing. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Groudon is easy. You know, he's adamant. Band, I take one, and then all of his spectral thieves, I take one comfortably. Um, if he close combats, then he actually dies to a fire blast in the sun, unless he's like a bit bulky. But I don't really see him being able to be bulky because he wants, he probably wants HP flying for the buzz wall that I could have brought. Um, he goes for shadow sneak. Oh, that's a good play. Um, Uh, he's life orb marshadow, so yeah, he's gonna. P I should have moon guys beamed. That's a misplay on my end, but it does mean that. Um, he is marshadow, life orb marshadow. Um, he's got to be jolly then. Does he do the stacker? Stacker takes nothing, I'm going into this. Because forklift could still be useful. Yeah, so Shadow Sneak's gonna come out. 157 down to 122, which is off the top of my 35 damage. Yeah, which is a min roll for Jolly Life Orb. Um, what does he have in the back? He has Sally. I mean, if Sally comes in, I click Reflect. He goes into Rocket Switch. Yes, that's going to be the Sally. Um, so that does. A good chunk of damage, actually. So is this an offensive Sally? Maybe. Yeah, it might be. Is that the thing Stone Edge actually can kill here? How many turns of Trick Room do I have left? Two. Um, they did like 30%. Yeah, I'm going to click Stone Edge here because if I land this, I'm pretty sure I kill. Yeah, and we take that thing down. So, Stacker kills Celestealer. And Sally ends up 0 on 1. And now all he has left is the March Under, the T Tar, and the Gliscor. Um, yeah, this <laughs> we're up. We're up um, quite a lot here. There's no way he ever underspeeds me. Um, let's see, what's this thing called? It's called a Gliscor. If he is max, max impish, do I kill with? Um, 
Oh yeah, I kill with Impish every day of the week. I mean, I kill with Gyro every day of the week. So here I am thinking Stacker is a terrible matchup, and it comes out here and it gets two kills. Um, Stacker kills Gliscor. And Gliscor ends up 0 and 1. Now here comes a Marshadow. Um, my four Marshadow. Actually, yeah, he still kills, but I mean, I click Gyro Ball here in case he overplays. He goes for Spectral Thief. That's actually such a good play on his part. I mean, he lost some HP to Life Orb, but now I, he's got to take a Gyro, which does a lot still. And he loses. <laughs> Stacker. Kills. Marshadow. And Marshadow ends up 0 1. And it's now Stacker vs. Titar. Which is crazy. <laughs> I've been so long deciding whether I bring um, Kek Leon or a couple of the other mons that I was tossing up between. It's not even going to hit the field. That's wild. He goes into his Mega Tyranitar. Um, he's like... Even if he's max HP, he probably drops to this gyro ball. Um, this is wild that I'm going to win. Well, you never know. Crazier things have happened where they've come back, but... Like, if he has EQ here for this mon, or like maybe a fighting move... Um, Yeah, he goes for the EQ, and this kills, like, always, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So, Tyranitar. So, Mega kills Stacker. Okay, now I go into... Do I even... Do I even not go in to Zera Aura here? I go, I go into Zero, even if he's max HP. Like, he drops after rocks. And we see this come out, and we see a dead Tyranitar. So Zero, Aura, kills Megatita. And Sarah and Stacker pick up three kills each. Groudon, Kecleon don't even hit the field. And we managed to win that one. Um, I'm, we now go to two and two in the league. I'm very happy about that. Um, and that still leaves me with a couple of sets that I think really go in against his team that I could use for a potential rematch. So that's, that's something that I'm really excited for. Um, but as always, thank you very much for watching, um, and I shall see you all next time.